What I'm drilling through right here is dogwood, and if you don't think that's hard, that was a brand new bit. Well, we had a little accident. Jennifer was helping me put up the braces and the wood slipped and it kind of smashed her fingers. So another little trip to the ER at the outpost and we're gonna try to get this taken care of. So i uh, gonna cut this short. Thunderpants. <laughs> She's telling me jokes off camera. Um, well, <clears throat> true or false, Jennifer got hurt up here at the outpost helping me. Okay, put your answer in the comments below. Um, she came out to help, and this is literally what happened. I was working on that corner brace over there and looked at it and measured it and uh, still needed to take out a little bit, but had the screws actually holding it up, so she was going to hold it. I backed the screw out and it started to fall and of course I was trying to catch it with this hand she was actually hanging onto the pole and it smacked her hand into the pole and let me tell you it sounded like a small firecracker going off um, it actually did break the end bone right there but it was still in line I splinted it with a piece of a uh, paint stirrer I actually split it and then cut it off and splinted it took her in got it x-rayed of course there's not really anything that they can do for fingers and toes and I knew that but really that's the only place that you can get a finger splint so I wanted to be able to get one of those and at least know if there was any damage done so but we listen, know I didn't even want to go to the ER I told him it would be fine would just w keep working I literally knew it was probably broke I couldn't move it took off running like Forrest Gump I guess it was my fight or flight motion I don't know anyway took off I would just have buddy taped it and went on about my business. But instead, he made me go to the ER. Funny thing, I had the same nurse at a different hospital as my brother had last year when he about cut his finger off. Anyway, so. That was really ironic. That, it was ironic. But needless to say, I'm back out here because I don't quit. He told me not to help and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to help. It'll be all right. Just wanted to let you all uh, know why she's wearing that great big white um, 
split on her finger, so. I'm more worried about my fingernails turning black than I am the broken bone. The th good thing it is about women, she could paint all fingernails black if she needed to, and nobody would ever know the difference. Okay. What kind of pants do clouds wear? Thunder pants. <laughs> where, where do sheep go on vacation? To the Bahamas. going to go over there beside the uh, fire pit and will become a corner post for the bench that I'm going to make at a later date for a countertop that I can use to kind of cut by as well. You know, I have some people ask me, why do I work the way that I do? Why do I move something from here to there? And it seems like I stack it over and over. Well, one reason is, is I work methodically and I also try to be tidy. One thing I can't stand is to be untidy. I mean, I've got a mess of shavings right here right now, but at least they're in one spot and I figured when I was done, I'll probably try to bag some of these and save them because when they dry out, they'll be good kindling to start fires with, especially up there at that kitchen. Anyway, so to answer some of those questions, that is why I do what I do. Also, it keeps me from having to move tools back and forth. I could take things off the mill. I could bring them right here. Um, I could peel this piece off and carry it up there, put it up, but then I've got to transport tools back and forth. For me, it's easier to load it. When I load things, I load them nice and neat. I don't just throw them over there and uh, then bring them over here, work them up, load them again. Because if something happens, uh, if I have to change the plans, emergency like I had with Jennifer earlier today, where I've got to take off and go, everything is still nice and tidy. I can take the tractor move the lumber, park it, and it's not laying around. So that's just, that's the way I work. Um, I'm sure everybody's got their own way. That's my way. And I've always done that. And probably will continue to do that because it just works out easier for me.
Yeah, that was, uh, I thought it was deeper than that. So, that's why I cut it where I did. Alright, let me get the hammer. What I'm going to have to do is take these pots and pans home and clean them up um, before I use them. But I think this is going to be really nice once I get it ready to go. Well guys, my neighbor came up today and he said that he hadn't forgot about this little plate that goes on this rocket stove. Um, but I've got a few pieces of fire brick left. I think I may go ahead and stick them down in here at some point. I mean, I'm not in any big hurry, but just looking at it. But yeah, it's going to be a plate that actually goes on here and has a circle cut out large enough for the bottom of a coffee pot, uh, but so that it won't fall through there. That way the flame can come up and it's not actually hitting like a plate like this but it's actually able to hit the bottom of the pan but yet it will support the pan and it's wide enough that the pot would sit down in here um, nice and easy and or I can also set that down in there I, I spaced those out wide enough where I could do that so right here what I'm going to do is I've saved a good sized piece of poplar uh, for a countertop right here. I'm going to extend this all the way to here. And I'll probably have another short post right there and a post there. Um, and of course tie these two in together right here. But it'll be, be kind of like a cabinet with some open shelves in there where I can set some things on. Um, I don't know. I may go ahead and put some doors on it. We'll see. But uh, that way it'll give me a countertop uh, that I can work on. But I've got a 30 gallon barrel that I'm going to set up underneath the cabinet and I bought a pump that I can actually pump water. I'll just have a small pan where I'll cut a hole out and it will sit there. And what I may have is uh, another 5 gallon bucket sitting down there with just a small drain hose and a plug. But that way I can heat some water up, I can wash my pots and pans or dishes or things like that up here. And I'll be able to pump water and then when I need it just pull out the barrel, go fill it up, and there you go. I'm going to go ahead and close the video down here. Um, by the way, I, Jennifer had to leave earlier. I did talk to her. Um, she's feeling okay. Um, but she, was, uh, she had stopped by to get her some Coban to wrap the fingers up a little bit better than what the hospital had done. But uh, she's on her way home. Anyway, um, I really hate that that happened to her. I wish it would have happened to me. Um, you know, I hate to see either one of my kids hurt. Um, Patrick last year was cutting his finger, and Jennifer this year was smashing it. 
So I feel really bad that she came up here and that happened, but you know, accidents happen. Anyway, but appreciate you all stopping by. We always do. We love you. You all have a great evening. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost next time.